Hello artists. Today's lesson, we are going to learn how to draw a haunted house. Perfect for Halloween. Let's get started. This is what your haunted house will look like when we are done. Of course, your haunted house won't look exactly like this because we always like to add some of our own personal details. Like maybe you can change up the cat in this window or you can add some ghosts flying around or different coloring on the haunted house. It's all up to you. Make it personal and whatever you want. Here are some things that we should remember before we begin working on our haunted house. Haunted houses come in all shapes and sizes, of course. But if you want to make it look scary, there are a few tips for your drawing to make your best haunted house. Number one, the more unbalanced and pieced together looking the house is, the better. They need to be the opposite of neat and orderly. That's why this house has an overly funky and irregular shape to it. Number two, they need to be dull and boring in color. Given the neglect that is often part of the story, the more blah the colors, the better. Number three, the creepy details will make for an interesting story. Why is one light on and none of the others are? Is there a black hat staring back at me? And did I really just see a ghost in that window? The spooky season has a lot to offer when it comes to creativity, and that's the fun part that we should embrace with our drawings. Let's get started on our drawing. The first thing that we should do is create our guidelines. Take your paper and fold it in half. Then unfold it and fold it in half again the other way. This should give you two nice crease lines that we will be using as guides for our drawings. Step one. We're going to start at the very bottom here, drawing a rectangular for the floor. Make sure that there's the rectangle is even on both sides of your center line. Next, we're going to draw another rectangle going up on the right side. About a little over halfway of this section here. Finally, we're going to we'll draw a triangle on top of that rectangle. Step two is to add a first floor to the left of the tower. Remember to make sure that your pencil lines are very light because we'll be using some erasing for this. So don't make your pencil lines too dark. First, draw a rectangle starting from the base on the left side and go up and over into our tower. Next, you can draw a line going across a little bit out from that rectangle. Next, draw a line above that top part of the rectangle going across this way. Not all the way as far as this line. We want to have an angled line coming down this way. Next, just to the left of the center line, we're going to draw another triangle peak for our door frame. Then below that, a couple of posts on each side for our door frame. And then finally, draw a couple lines to complete our first floor. Next, we need to add to the first floor on the left side of the tower. Start over here, continuing this line, which is the edge of our building, and start at the top of this roof and go up a little bit past our center line. Then we can go next to our tower and draw a line over, going past that line and over. Go up a little bit and draw another line for that roof. Not as far as down here, just drop it a little short. And then instead of drawing a straight line, like in our bottom roof, we can draw a curve shape going down to make this roof. Next, we're going to add a very small third floor on top of our second floor. 
we can start at this point here, the very edge of our roof, and make a rectangle. Then we can draw a triangle on top of that rectangle. And then a little chimney to top it off. Make sure you have a little bit of space going around so that we can draw some spooky elements when we're finished. Step five is to start making the ornament parts of our house. You can see over here that our haunted house has our basic setup, which all of your haunted houses they look pretty similar at this point. This is where it gets to be real fun. You can personalize your house with different windows, a different style of door. You can see this window has added some shades to it. And these windows have crosses on them. And this door just has a couple panels in it. Put your windows and your doors in about the same place as the drawing is here. But you can make them look however you want. Feel free to be creative with this. Wait until the very end to add the elements in your windows if you have them open. Next, we're going to add second floor windows. Again, keep them in about the same place as we have here, but you'll notice that the artist changed up this one, adding some boards to make it look like it's been boarded up. And this one, he's even added a little element of a skull. Feel free to make your windows look super creative. Also add this small line designating the top of the second floor. Finally, we can draw some third floor windows to our drawing. Draw one up here in the third floor to a little window. Maybe a circle one in the middle. And then here they put a cat in this window. And this one has a curved arch instead of a flat rectangle. Again, the style of your windows is totally up to you. Making them look different will make it look super creative and different from anyone else's drawing. Finally, we need to add a couple of more elements. Add a moon in the background if you want. Add some grass in the background here so that our haunted house isn't just floating in air. And here the artist also added some rectangles with lines coming out of them to signify bricks. Your final step is to take your Sharpie marker and outline all of those pencil marks that you just made. Make sure that you double check before you go ahead and erase any of those extra pencil marks that are left over. Finally, you can use crayons or markers or any coloring material that you would like to color it in. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. You can use different colors for your haunted house. And go ahead and add some more elements to the background if you want as well. Maybe some ghosts are flying back there. Maybe there's a graveyard in the background here that this haunted house is sitting in front of. Feel free to add anything you want and make it super creative. Just make sure when you're coloring it in, to color the whole page so that it looks super awesome. Here are some examples from last year's artists of our haunted house drawings. You can see that even though we all followed the same directions, that each of them looks just a little bit different and all of them are super creative. I love the elements in this one, like this little monster poking out of the background here and some smoke coming out of the chimney on these two. We even have a little pumpkin down here and some crazy ghoul. Make yours super creative and add those cool elements that make it personal and awesome. All right, artists, good luck on your haunted houses and make sure to stay creative and have an excellent Halloween.